and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited. I have been waiting for this box for 10 days. Like, it, it was delayed and I didn't know because it wasn't on my account. So, like, I wasn't getting emails about it, but my husband was. So, I was checking the mail, like, three times, three to four times every day waiting for it. I was so excited. I wanted to film this video. And um, it finally came yesterday, but our mail has this tendency to run extremely late. So by the time it got here, it was kind of too dark to film. So I decided to wait till today, but I had my husband open it and cut open all the packages. I was going to do it, and then I realized when I opened it that all the packages had stickers with the name of the crystals on them. So I, I had my husband do it because I didn't want to see because I want to be surprised with you. So... This is the um, Enchanted Crystals box. This is the large one. It's like 40 something dollars, 30 or 40 dollars. It's, I'm, I'm so excited. I know it comes with a grid and like five or more crystals. And oh my god, I, if you've been watching all my crystal videos, you know I've wanted this, this box for so long. And my husband got it for me for Christmas. And I'm just, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for it. Like, little patient kit, actually not patient at all. I have been spastically checking the mail every day. And like when I go and check the mail and I finally get the mail and it's not there, I would get so depressed and upset. <laughs> I'm so happy it's finally here. Okay. So he cut this open and it was really hard to open. I was trying to open it the wrong way. So you got your paper. Not that you guys care about the paper. It just says thank you and stuff like that. And then this is what it looks like from the top. So you have your grid and then I'm guessing your little bag of crystals and then like the wrapping for the other crystals. Okay. So I'm so excited. We ex that wasn't a sentence. I'm so excited to finally have a grid. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh, it's smaller than I expected, actually. I thought it was going to be much bigger. This is perfect, though. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. It's really cute, and it kind of looks like the grid itself isn't black, that it's kind of like a really dark teal, which is great because my whole house is kind of in blue. So I'm really, really excited. And at the bottom, it says Enchanted Crystals, which I'm so here for. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then you have your little crystals, or they call free bonuses. And this one has a rough, smoky laser quartz, a black tourmaline, and a carnolin. I'm saying that one completely wrong, which is weird because I'm pretty sure I have one of those. I bought it at, like, a nearby crystal shop. So, this is our rough, smoky laser crystal. Laser quartz, sorry, I said that wrong. I just realized I'm showing you before I even look at it. Oh, look at how shiny that is. So it's pretty much just like a uh, clear quartz, but it's kind of like a dusty, kind of dark, light, slightly brown, kind of like a dirty clear quartz. Very pretty, though. I don't think I have one of these. I have a lot of, like, small clear quartz, but this is the first smoky laser I wonder if it's different because it's a rough smoky laser quartz compared to a regular like smoky quartz if anybody knows tell me down below but it's like kind of jagged on one side which is probably the rough side and then the other side it's like very this is this is only focusing on my face but it's very smooth on the other side and then I'm guessing this is our black tourmaline which ooh, it's really pretty it's like super smooth on one side and then the other side it's smooth but it also has like kind of jaggedy parts and I like it because it's kind of shaped like a shark's tooth. I know that, that doesn't matter at all but it's just not gonna focus. I want it to focus so bad but my face, hold on, maybe if I move my face you can see I'm I'm butchering this. You guys, I'm sorry. It's a pretty black stone. I like it. And then the last one is the Carnaline? Carnaline? Okay, so this has like a pretty hole in it actually. Which is a little freaky to me, but that's fine. Hey, the other side's different. I actually like this side because you won't be able to see, but it kind of looks like it has freckles. You can kind of see it. Hold on. What if I turn off this little light right here? Will that help? 
Let's see if you can see this crystal now. No, because there's still glare because I decided to open the window behind me or in front of me to give me natural light. I'm sorry, you guys. I tried so hard. It's been five minutes and we're only... I'm the worst, you guys. Sorry. It's really pretty. Maybe I'll do, like, close-ups at the end. Maybe. If I can figure out how to do that. And add that into a video. Okay, so the first thing I picked up, or I'll, I didn't really show you guys the inside, but it's just, like, inside there it's green. So the first one I picked up says it is Black Kyanite. Which, I'm pretty sure I've gotten kyanite from them before in the smaller box. So, here is the kyanite. Yeah, I have a very small piece of this one. Oh, wait. It looks like there's more in here. Holy shit. You get three pieces. Whoa. Oh, my God. So cool. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. I'm trying to, like, move my face so you guys can... love camera that focuses on just you but still that kind of sucks for the rest of the video when you're showing things um it looks like um little pieces I'm like just gonna like block my face out and hopefully no nothing can you see that better anyways it looks like um tiny thin pieces just all over the place it's really cool and I got three of them this one right here looks super spiky. I really wish you guys could see that. But, like, it's really spiky. It's so cool. There you go. That's kind of a good shot of it. I'm going to have to edit the frick out of this video. Sorry. But, yeah, that's really cool. Okay, I'm going to carefully set that aside because I can see in the green that like a tiny piece has already broken off so I feel like that's a very very delicate um, piece and um it did say it just says black kyanite in that I was only saying that because like on this one this says shungite but it says rare next to it so oh look this is another black stone this is just like kind of a cube really interesting though I want to see it's much colder <laughs> than the other, the small stone, the black, what is it, black? Black tourmaline. This one is much colder. I like this. Just straight up black, which is cool. I don't really have a lot of black crystals or stones, so that's really cool. That's interesting. I like that. That'll be, like, a good one to, like rub if I'm ever stressed out or anything. I always like ones that I can, like, rub in my hand. Okay, I don't want to do that one yet, because it says super rare. What do we have here? We have a white halolite wand. I don't know why it took me, like, so long to say halolite. Okay, so this doesn't say anything next to it either, like, rare or anything, but this is what it looks like. It looks like marble. It's freaking gorgeous. I... I'm so excited now I have two wands because I have um, another one that I've got from them, which is actually like right behind my head somewhere. But I'm really excited to have two. This is really cool. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I hope you guys can see all the detail in there. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about that. Yay! And then... Wait, is there another one? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave the one that says, wait, these both stay very rare. Okay, we're going to do the Dragon's Tooth Amethyst. Dragon's Tooth Amethyst. It says it's a new find and it's very rare. So, this is what the one side looks like. You can't tell, but it is kind of like caved in. So, it goes like this slightly on this side where it's just purple. And then on the other side, it's very kind of jaggedy. Very pretty. Very pretty. I don't have a single piece of amethyst that looks like this. This is so interesting. So interesting. What was that noise? But I just realized it's my lizard scratching at stuff. Am I even holding this? In, I'm sorry if I'm not holding this in the screen. I am the worst. 
That is so cool though. I'm really excited about that. I definitely don't have anything like that. That's probably going to go on the shelf behind me here. And then the last one is this shamanic, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, shamanic dream quartz, and it says very rare as well. So I'll just show you what it says. Not that it matters, but, you know, in case you wanted to see. Okay. Oh, I like this. This is, um, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Like, from right here, this looks like any rock I could kind of find outside. But then it has, like, all these bits of, like, crystal on it. And it's so jaggedy. And it, because it has the other rock under it. I'm sorry, I'm so quiet. It looks like, um, it kind of looks like it's in the crystal. And it looks kind of cloudy. I don't know if you, you guys probably aren't going to be able to see that. But, like, it is so cool. And it's so weird because, like, right here, it just looks like regular kind of rock. And then it just has, like, what looks like maybe a chunk of crystal there. But it's so different. Get my face out of here. It's so different from what's on the other side. Like, it's so cool. Can you guys hear my, like, lizard thrashing about in his cage? That's so cool. Um, you can't really tell on camera, but, like, down here, it almost looks like smoky quartz. Like, it looks dark, or almost even purple, like a gray to purple color, not, like, just a clear white quartz. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is, like, choking up a little bit. Um, but it's so cool. And then it has, like, these bits of orange here which I don't know if that's like from the outside of the rock oh but it's kind of powdery so I'm not gonna mess with that but it's really cool I actually I think this is my favorite crystal I know that sounds really weird because normally I'd probably look at this and be like uh it's kind of ugly but I like that the crystal's kind of hidden not like hidden in it but like not as straight up in your face that you really have to look at it and there's like a lot of detail inside of the crystal itself which this is just the worst angles. I'm so sorry, you guys. But I really like this crystal. Overall, I would say that this box is awesome. And um, I'm so excited to finally have gotten a one of the larger boxes. Oh my gosh. I will say the weight was really hard for me because I was really excited about this. Um, but I'm really glad I finally got it. And it was it was worth the wait. This crystal was so cool. Calm down, little dude. Anyways, um, I'm going to turn this light back on because I feel like my face looks very... Is that better? I think that looks a little bit better on my face. Okay. So those are... Wait, did I leave the thing in there for that one? Okay, it's out. Um, so those are all the crystals that I got. I got the... I'm going to read them out to you so you can see. I got the Shamanic Dream Quartz, which is very rare. Very pretty this crystal. I got the sh Shungate, the Shungate, which is really cool. I really like that. I got the white Halolite wand, which is freaking gorgeous. Oh, my God, it's so pretty. Oh, I love this. I love how cold these are really pretty. Then I got the Dragon's Tooth Amethyst, which is, I'm, I'm always so scared I'm going to drop these. Isn't this so pretty? Oh, I love it. So beautiful. So pretty. Love that one. And then the three, oh, I'm going to hold this up. Okay. The three pieces of Black Kyanite. Which are like so freaking cool. So yeah. And then I got my 
quick a little review. My um, grid sheet, which is perfect. I'm so excited. And my little bonus bag, which has the rough smoky laser quartz. The black tourmaline, which I really like. And the carnaline, carnaline, which there's the hole. And then, can you see on the back where it's supposed to have, like, it looks like it has freckles? I think it's so cute. Hold on. Can you see the freckles? It's cute. I like that one. Um, okay, so I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to go find all the properties and stuff of each one, and come back and tell you what they all are. Oh my god, this video is going to be so long. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about was the hardest to find, which was the Shamanic Dream Quartz. Um, this says that this stone, healers call it the world within stone. It is this, can't talk, use this rare scarce, oh, <laughs> use this rare sacred gem to connect with the spirit guides to help you recall dreams to intensify your experiences during shamanic journeys, I'm saying that word so wrong, and to experience heightened states of consciousness during meditation. This is actually my favorite rock that we got out of the whole group, so I really, I really like this rock. Oh, I just, I really like that rock. Okay. So that one was the hardest to find, like, a meaning on. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to go back through and talk about... We got we got the laser quartz, which is the laser smoky quartz, which is just a smoky quartz, and it says this is known as a strong healing stone. Smoky quartz is believed to ground and help one let and let help one let go of old wounds. It is said to help one move forward into clarity. That's an awesome little stone. So excited about that. Sorry if I'm staring down at my phone during all of this, so it's so I can read to you. Next one is the Black Tourmaline. It says, Black Tourmaline carries a strong energy for protection against negativity and electromagnetic energy. It helps to clear and cleanse and unlock any energy blockages within your body and home. So that's awesome. Excited about that one. I'm going to keep that close to me. This is the... Caroline, Caroline, I'm so, I feel so bad because I know I know how to say this one because I've said it before. It's just, uh, sometimes reading words is the hardest thing in the world. Um, Carnaline is a crystal of courage, vitality, sexuality, action, and confidence. It, acti it activates the first three chakras and brings a surge of life force and creates and creative energy. It's a lucky crystal to carry on interviews. That's awesome. Next one is, okay, so the dragon tooth amethyst is just, it's just amethyst. There's nothing you can find really on the dragon's tooth that I saw. So this says, amethyst is a natural tranquilizer. Um, it releases stress and strain, soothes irritability, balances mood swings, dispels anger, rage, fear, and anxiety, alleviates sadness and grief, and dissolves negativity. Amethyst act... Sorry, the words are really small. Amethyst activates spiritual awakeness, opens intuition, and enhances physical abilities. It has strong healing and cleansing powers. Amethyst encourages... Sobriety, sobriety having a sobering effect on overindulgence of alcohol, drugs, or other addictions. It calms and stimulates the mind, helping you become more focused, enhancing memory, and improving motiv motivation. It relieves insomnia. Encourage, encourages 
selflessness and spiritual wisdom. And it's for your crown chakra. Sorry, it was very, you can't see that. It was very tiny writing, so I had to focus on it so I didn't lose my place. Okay, what do we got next? Next is the Howlite. Okay. Believe to aid against insomnia. That's two stones that are supposed to help with insomnia, which literally, I just want to say, these couldn't have come at a better time. I literally had the worst time sleeping, so this is going under my pillow, like, right after this video. It says, Believe to aid in insomnia. White Howlite is the ultimate calming stone, strengthens memory, and stimulates desire for knowledge inspires calm communication and emotional expression. I am down with that. You're going right under my pillow. Next one I did was this one. The Shungite? Shungite? Wow. I apologize to anybody who knows how to say these properly that I'm just butchering them. It says Shungite is an ancient healing stone that brings relief from stress, anxiety, and insomnia. It is a powerful protection, <laughs> healing, and dis detoxifying stone that is extremely beneficial for boosting your overall health and energy levels. So this says, um, I am a... I am healed. Oh, that is the, uh, okay. So, um, our third stone for, uh, insomnia. Yes, please. What the hell? Like, how do they know? See, they always say you get the stones that are meant for you. And I have fully believed that since I started getting stones, these, oh, the stones you need come to you. Like, oh my goodness. That's crazy. There's no way. There's just no way. Okay. Black Hyanate, which I have three of. So <clears throat> known as the ritual stone, it is a high vibration crystal and shamanic crystal. Wait, wasn't one of our other ones shamanic? Which one was it? This one? Yeah. So we have two shamanic crystals. Sweet. Okay. Grounding while offering protection and healing surrounds the aura with this protective energy, a protective energy shield that eliminates any and all adverse energies. Wow. I saw a lot of pictures of, like, people, like, putting this here, so I'm wondering that if this um, particular crystal is for your crown chakra or is supposed to help with headaches or something. What's the next one? Is that it? Is that it? That can't be it. Is that everything? We did, we did them all. Holy crap. Okay. So there are all the crystals and all their meanings, and I hope that you like this video. I have a lot to edit now. Um, and if you like this video, be sure to give this some. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like crystals in general, give it a thumbs up. I I'm kind of sad. This is my last crystal box as of now, but I'm probably gonna have to go and buy more just because I really really like crystals so yeah um definitely leave me a comment down below if you got this particular box and you got something different or if I said any of these crystals wrong or if you know things about these crystals that I didn't mention because I really love learning about crystals so uh definitely subscribe if you're not already subscribed there are going to be so many videos this year I say that now but I really hope there are um I've really been in like this wanting to film mode and 2019 is going to be a year, I think, where I talk about a lot of things I haven't particularly talked about at all, because I feel like I've done some healing and I'm ready to talk about things that might have not been easy to talk about before, so there's going to be a lot of stuff. I'm going to definitely talk about my weight loss, um, just everything I've done overall. I want to go more in depth with that. I'm probably going to do a house tour, because this tiny little house is pretty much perfect almost like I've kind of reorganized it from Christmas and hopefully hopefully it'll be ready to go real soon and I will do a tour and there's just there's a lot coming this year so definitely subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye